Hi, and welcome back to Let's Win XCOM Long War. I'm FWAP. We just finished two scopes. We've got a UF, our first crash site to uh, assault. And coming up in the next week is Marksman Scope and Laboratory, as well as the end of this month, the first month. Um, we switched over to Alien Materials recently, and there's a bunch of requests for stuff. Let me just take a look. Are they all satellites? Yeah, they're all satellites. Um, Japan, Brazil, Australia. There's two for Asia, and I'm kind of interested in Asia. Egypt, South Africa. Japan offers good money anyway. Yeah, maybe we'll move into Asia. But first things first, we're gonna invade this. Hopefully this will get us enough cash that we can um, rock our thermo generator. All right, that said. Snipers are good on this kind of mission. Sniper rifles. Especially attack vest, yeah. I would like to take two. Good. Uh you're not really um I don't know how to say this, but you're not Really sniper material. Let's look at her abilities. Elizabeth Johnson. They say that panicking on your first mission means you're destined to make it to Colonel. I believe in you. Alright, so now we get our first crack at the scout specialties. We've got hit and run, which is a new perk as of this build, I believe. Um, your first standard shot of each turn against an uncovered or flanked target does not cost an action. It does not work against flying units. Presumably it does work against mechanical non-flying units. So, you get a free shot against an uncovered or flanked target. It doesn't involve a range, unlike close encounters. So it's sort of close encounters for flanking um, are exposed. Alternatively, we have hollow targeting. Um, shooting at or suppressing enemies confers plus 10 aim to allies' attacks on those enemies. So good, and a perfect match with a scout's uh, movement. Um, also, an excellent match with a good sniper, and you can hollow target and then snipe someone. Lastly, we have will to survive, which provides one aim, one will, and one mobility to the scout. Just a little bit of everything is what the scout needs. Um, and of course, Will to Survive is an awesome um, perk all by itself. So don't be offended by the minor aim and will. <clears throat> it still adds up, trust me. So our choices are more offensive, more teamwork related, and tougher. Um, the hit and run is kind of a mobile commando scout. It leads into uh, critical hit chance, a lot of maneuverability, and uh, just gets you around the battlefield picking off um, exposed targets. <clears throat> it can be dangerous later in the, towards the end game when you really don't want to move around too much and expose additional pods, but it's uh, still quite useful for cleanup. Um, hollow targeting also comes with two aim, uh, and is probably the best choice. It's what we're going to choose for our level because it leads into some defensive perks, and then you can kind of branch out into maybe a little healing, maybe a little smoke grenade. Um, your choice. And lastly, we have Will Survive, which leads into the Infiltrator Scout, a scout specialized in moving near enemy lines and surviving. Um, they're incredibly tough, incredibly resilient. They may not have too many hit points until you hit extra conditioning significantly later in the perk tree, 
um, but they guard them jealously with uh, every defensive perk known to man. For this one, we're definitely taking hollow targeting. It's a great help with rookies, and we need that. Um, it also helps out snipers in particular. So they will make a mean team. Here we have a fire team. You know, I said there are two man teams that um, my uh, classes tended to specialize in. That's one of them. We're going to bring the commander with the highest aim because picking off the enemies towards the end can be tough. We're also going to bring Gunner for suppression. We'll bring the Gunner most likely to level up. Yep, Battle Scanner will be good. And then what? get started on a Rocketeer. Now, as of this patch, um, Rocket aim is not affected by anything that you carry. Um, so your weapon carry bonus does not affect rocket aim. However, steadying your weapon, no matter what weapon it is, does give you a bonus. So um, SMGs are great for mobility as well as um, to make, yeah, basically mobility and steadying your aim. That said, um, I want to give this guy really good aim. And I want to look at the rockets. Alright, rocket launcher does 4 to 10 damage. That's awesome. Um, destroy alien artifacts, prevent recovery. Friendly target spots are affected. Rocket scatter. Damage reduced based on distance from point of Desi. Yeah. Rockets can be a total bust, um, but we want to get some Rocketeers leveled up. That said, um, if I want to use the rocket, I will definitely want to use the scope. Oh no, the scope does not affect the rocket anymore. I was just saying that. Med kit is a good choice for him. Um, his accuracy is good enough. He should. Oh, right. I don't need the laser sight. going to treat him like a regular infantry who happens to be carrying a rocket. And our last taker for today... Get. 
don't want too many medkits actually. Let's go with an HE grenade. This gunner, we'll give him an LMG. We'll give a battle scanner that guy. Definitely want a scope on my sniper and a scope on. Do so I really want my rocketeer? Rocketeer is good aim. That seems kind of unnecessary. Let's give him a battle scanner as well. Scope to our scout. Ah, uh, I know what I want. Flashbang. And the Rocketeer. as well. Assault carbine. This is plus one mobility. Now the rocket should keep us out of trouble if we're gonna get swarmed. Operation Our AO Secret is Throne. The continental United States. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Okay. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Alright, so we've got three two-man teams here. We've got the Assault and my Command. We've got the Gunner and the Rocketeer. We've got the Scout and the Sniper. Um, the Assault and the Command should be the center of the group. Alright. There's the crash. We could try and cross over. Oh, look, an owl. But I find that really difficult most of the time. Solid copy. The scout and the sniper should work in tandem. Nice, it mentions the scope. Headed there now. And then the gunner and the rocketeer can function in one of two ways. The gunner can suppress while the rocketeer takes pot shots alongside the assault. Moving to designated position. And the uh, other. Got it covered. Oh, the command. Oh, misclick. No. Oh, double misclick. Why is that bush so hard to. <clears throat> so, either the rocket can be used to expose targets for the LMG to blow away, because they both do a bunch of damage, or the LMG can hold down troops while other units engage. Not necessarily the Rocketeer, but since the Rocketeer will be with him in a team, Heading there now. Um, that would kind of be optimal. Okay.
This is where we want the sniper. Normally I don't move my snipers <laughs> that early in the round, but... Lastly, I want the LMG close to the front, where it can engage using the scout's hollow targeting. And let's just let's get the rocket step up. I think it should be safe to pop into this cover since we didn't see anything there. Try and sneak our assault across over the back so we can sweep up into their formation. Good to go. I'm there, considering how much we've not seen enemies, and we'll just move her up where her smoke grenades can reach everyone. <laughs> Scatter. It is serious up here. Got it covered. I did not bring any meld capturing. Uh, to dash to make it to cover. That kind of sucks. That was just a poorly planned maneuver, I suppose. That said... Yes, Commander. This is a fine position for him, and if he can do it, so can the scout. And of course, we want to be able to drop a smoke grenade on whoever we can. We do not bring any specific like meld runners. Uh, this is all about the crash. Speak of the meld. I'm far more concerned. On the move. All right, that tells me my assault can just dash. Moving to designated position. My command two. Looks like it is. Okay, that's significantly more reasonable. Here. And there's no I'm reason our sniper move. shouldn't just keep pace. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Well, this is an excellent spot. Move up here. <laughs> Roger, Dodger. I don't think we're alone out here. Okay, the scout is actively hunting. Moving out. This cover can't be destroyed. Moving to Overwatch. Move the LMG last. Moving 
salt's creeping up. Steady aim. I think you've got this particular batch of aliens pretty well pinned. But I want a little elevation to make sure I can actually make the shot. Though the more trees in the way, the worse everything gets. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay, we don't want to get too close because <clears throat> we can almost see inside of the UFO. That is a major. Understood. Moving out. Major shift. <laughs> Alright, there are some beasties. Not where I wanted them. Um. So let's see, without moving okay. forward exactly. Let's see if there's anything in the UFO. Incoming signal from Battle Scanner. There is a meld in there calling me, taunting. But I don't know. anything else. So we'll take our blue move, move up here, stop hunting these guys I guess. Actually maybe he'll save, he'll stay here to safeguard our rear. We'll get overwatch over there, and we'll speed our scout back help intercept these incoming douchebags. Coming any closer, guys? Fine, I guess. Oh man, both of them? You got this. Yeah. So soon? We just got started. Target is just a squad site. I would love to finish it off. Let's go ahead and try and kill it. Damn you, stump. Oops. Got to use all my hard one scoutiness. Okay, I'm shifting this guy up. He will go ahead and take a shot. Unlikely as it is. Perhaps he's got the range. Not too far. Oh! Only two sectoids. Still 
not so great. She's gonna move up in pressurization. Let's see. So she's moving up here. Thanks, battle scanner. You let me know everything. I was gonna reveal an outsider. This guy panics. Let's just take the shot. This one's panicking as well. go his own way. Yeah, I figure there will be things to shoot. Moving. Mm, there could have been Overwatch. We'll light this guy up if we don't kill him. is intrigued and we'll take the shot very nice Not quite get to the mill without dashing. Alright. He's moving here and hunkering. Keep on. If we're lucky, we can get that meld, and that sectoid won't come up behind our commander. Here, have some bravery. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Maybe I'm gonna get a shot on the outsider. Let me get this meld. Nothing's in range, huh? No overwatch. Heading to that location. So this is a solid position. If you crouch. Now, for those of you who haven't played Long War, this outsider is a beast. Opportunist and adaptive bone marrow. I don't know why I know this. I probably shouldn't without doing research on them. Yeah, apparently no autopsy required. Uh, yeah, that's right, because they don't have corpses. Um, they are brutal. They regenerate, and um, their overwatch shots can be crits and have no penalty, and they're fairly accurate all on their own, all of which leads up to kind of a, uh, a badass motherfucker 
complex on its part. Okay, all that said, they are quite killable. Uh, she does not look happy. Okay. You can't shoot this thing because you cannot move and fire in the same turn. And you can't hunker. I think we'll get up here and flashbang these puppies. They're not actually puppies. But the flashbang lets us creep closer. Close enough for a point blank shotgun blast. 10 health is not that much in the face of a very determined shotgunner. No reason to expose yourself to enemies when the assault's out there with his four armor. And we'll go ahead and steady our aim for the coup de gras. Now remember, flashbangs limit their mobility and kind of disable their aim, making life in general very, very difficult for them. This guy didn't quite make it into range. Outsiders are quite mobile. Okay. This is what I was afraid of. Uh huh. Got the two targets, you say. He does have a big squad site penalty. Target is disoriented. She might be able to range on that alien. Um, it's dangerous to turn your back on an outsider, however. Outsider is quite dangerous. All right, there's only one target for our sniper. She's going to take it. But we are awfully close to him. And they can do a serious load of damage. Take this shot. Since it's so good. Quite flashbang him. Solid copy. We will put a serious amount of Overwatch on him. Back to the other side of this meld. And drop a smoke on herself. So that the outsider doesn't just cream her if it comes back inside the ship. Ouch. Alright, if he had not had extra conditioning, he would be dead. That 
said, I think the outsider had its chance. We can flashbang it. He can run up and shotgun it. Best prelude to that might be pop it. Unfortunately, not for damage. Ooh, there might be aliens on the other side of here. Bad, bad greedy thoughts. How safe am I? Safe as I'm gonna get, okay. That said, I would like to be able to shoot it with my sniper. If possible. There's a bunch of trees in the way. Maybe in here. Nice. Okay. Good. It can't overcome being flashbanged. Yes, I know you regenerate three health, you jerk. be able to get a range bonus. Oh, they don't have range bonuses, only penalties. Very nice. How are you doing, command? Too slow, it, too slow it looks like. Um... Actually squeeze a little extra XP out of this mission by healing. Um... It would be great if he gets the kill. Okay. Because our assault's gonna be out of action for quite a while. Alright, secret phone. Done. Illyriums and maybe a piece of uh, something or other. All right, we got three promotions, all not wounded. Two have someone out for 21 days. Could be worse. Everything was damaged. We did get the meld, sectoid kills, Illyrium weapons fragment. They can build it. I'm not okay. It's always good to check. Research, 15 days. Ah, uh, I know what I... Huh? can sell these. Hmm. And that gives us just enough to build our thermo generator. Now, thermogenerator costs us every month. I'm curious if it'll cost us this month, even if it'll be done next month. So, check your ledger. 
All right, it's not on the maintenance. Therefore, you don't have to pay for incomplete buildings. Um, therefore, time all your buildings to finish early in the next month, if possible. Um, you can do it. It's totally worth saving a couple hundred credits over the course of the game. It's worth it more at the beginning than the end, so deal. Oh man, look how cheap owning all these Skyrange are. You see that I'm spending six times as much credits on craft maintenance as I am on anything else early game. And that's with 30% reduction. This is why North America is the uh, the easiest start starting place. That said, all right, we've got some experienced troops. It's important to both um, ha bring rookies and balance um, pushing some troops into that like three to four perk range by the end of the first month. Um, generally. Is that Russia too? Satellite uplink oh, facilities uh, at maximum uh, capacity. Additional uplink required. Hmm. Okay, never mind. All right. There's our goodies. Here's our first lab. You know, it's better than one lab, two. I would love to build a second lab where let's build a square of labor laboratories. But I'll have to wait for this thermo generator to finish. I might go ahead and build We'll see. We'll see how the beginning of next month looks. I assume... Sure. Sure. Engineers are really nice. Everyone's returning to duty. Incoming transmission. We are extremely All right, we got an A. Of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond. Feels so easy, guys. Maybe I should be playing on uh, that is not possible. A this council makes lightly. Remember, we will be watching. All right, we got our payday. Now. We'll need one of these. It will not be wasted. And that'll let us start on what From satellite. What I've seen of their technology, satellite uplink. The aliens were intent on conquering Earth. There's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. What am I gonna build? I want to build satellite uplinks cost 10. I will have nine power, just enough for satellite uplinks. So I need 200 left over. I have 335. That means I can build two more scopes, which are so good. Also scopes um, can be upgraded through the foundry to add crit chance as well. Um, and you'll use them the whole game through, so get yourself up to scopes as soon as possible. Contact detected. Alright, this is a medium. I might want to switch back to having one... Um... I'm gonna switch one person. Two kills, one. Let's 
switch one back to avalanches. Contact detected. We're gonna send you out aggressive, Mr. Nuke. You are almost certainly not gonna shoot it down. Disengaging. That wasn't quite, I mean, that's kind of what I wanted. Six days out for one hit. Maybe if I'd been faster, I could have avoided taking the, the shot. Bandit. There. There, we got it to 50% health. Three left. Whatever it's doing, we screwed it up. Do I want to go in for the kill, or do I want to save? I want to save interceptors for scouts, I think. And again, a medium UFO. Quite the prize when taken down with stingrays. Nah, that took a lot of hits. We're gonna let it go. We've uh, beat the crap out of it. It's not going to do anything for its people. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right, guys. Guess we know what the next mission is. Abduction Brazil. Got quite a bit done this mission. Scopes moving into laser territory. Uh -huh. Did get ourselves shot to hell, but most of us will be back in a couple days, so that's not so bad. And yeah. Most of our well alright. The barracks is looking pretty good too, let's just say. Can we rename these puppies? Stella Bueno. Did I spell that right? Were there two L's? Might switch those around. Let's make sure. Uh, spelled it wrong. Typical commander. like a Stella. Oh, I see. go. This is what I decided on. We now have 40 troops back in the barracks. Alright, well then, when you come back, an alien abduction, that'll give us enough cash to ensure that we can build our um, next laboratory. Till then, farewell.